the fourth dimension. Well, other than the trivial knot, which isn't really knotted. The reason is because a knot can be thought of as a one-dimensional string embedded in three-dimensional space, as it needs that third dimension to exist. You couldn't make a knot on flat paper without self-intersection. But remember how I said I could unknot something by having it essentially pass through itself, which I demonstrated by cutting it? Well, in the fourth dimension, a knot would be capable of passing through itself through that extra dimension, meaning it's not really a knot, it'd just be a loop in disguise, and in mathematics, this is just the trivial knot, nothing that special. However, in four dimensions, it would be possible to have knots made out of two-dimensional sheets, though. No clue what that would look like, but we need that difference of two dimensions in order to create a true knot. So using that same logic, we could technically knot a three-dimensional object, but we'd have to move it through five dimensions to do so. And with that, let's now